now everything we are going to be creating today is going we are going to be using ai to create all of that from the voice down to the images how to generate clear images just like this one and so many other images all right guys so let's dive in All right, first, we want to be able to generate our script for our video. Now, our script is going to be having the pictures, what the prompt we are going to be using for generating our pictures, then the narration, which is the AI voiceover. So now, for us to be able to do that, first, we need to get the topic for our AI animation video. Okay, so what we are going to be using first is the chat GPT. All right, so you can do well to open yours this is it here so i'm going to be dropping the link for every single ai i'm going to be using here or any website i open i'm going to drop it the link in the description so you can do it also check the description all right this is chat gpt the first one here this is the one we'll be using we are now going to put in something here just follow exactly what i'm going to be writing okay so i can say i want a thought-provoking local village african love stories now why we are going for love stories is because what mostly or what can actually grow faster on youtube is actually when it's concerning love. because that is what actually grows faster on youtube concerning the love stories so we can do well to put in something like i want a thought-provoking local village african love stories title ideas for my youtube videos okay so that's what i'm just going to be typing here all right so this is actually my prompt that i'm going to be using to, to, in generating titles first i need to get my titles for my video all right so i can come to charge everything and then insert i want a thought-provoking local african village love stories title ideas for my youtube videos so using love stories is actually growing faster on youtube so you can do it to also use the love stories you can do it to insert it in the prompt there all right so i'm just going to hit enter and then it's going to give me titles that i can actually use in generating my ai videos so now these are actually some of the titles then i can do well to actually pick one of these all right so you can also do well to pick any one of your choice all right so i'm actually going to be using whispers of the Nile, love along the river banks this is what i'm actually going to be using so now looking at this or even thinking about love along the river banks it actually sounds good so i'm just going to be using, picking this part here so I'm just going to do it. So I like it and then I copy it. Now I've got my title. It's now time for us to generate a script for our AI video. Now we're going to be using that script in generating both images we are going to be using and also that of the AI um, voiceover. All right, so now we're not going to come here. So after doing that, it's now time for us to generate, like I said. Okay, so this is actually what we are going to be writing there. We're going to say, write me an animated local village story for this 10 minutes long YouTube video titled Love Along the River Banks. Ensure that the narrative style is friendly and engaging. Give me the AI prompt to generate the 16 by 9 image because when generating the image so as it can actually fit into YouTube, it's actually going to be 16 by 9. You should take note of that size. 16 by 9 image for each scene for my animated video and the well explained and the long narration for each scene. Okay. So this is actually what we are going to be doing. So you can also do well to put in same as this. Now I'm going to be putting this in the description so as you can also copy it. And then all you have to do is just change the title here. Then I'm going to hit enter and then it's going to generate the script for me. So this is actually done. So I'm just going to go to the top first one. Now this is actually the introduction. Now this is the narration. Welcome to the entire village of Quito. Now this is actually going to be what the um, voiceover will be saying. And then this is the AI prompt, which is the image. We're going to be generating an image for a panoramic view of the serene river banks with the village huts in the distance between the warm glow of the setting sun. All right, so this is actually going to be our image. And then this is the narration for this image. So we are going to be doing that for all of this. Okay, so now we've generated our title. Also, we've generated our script. So it's now time for us to move into creating or generating our images for the AI. All right. So now, where can we now actually generate some images? We can do well to come over to GenCraft or we use Styler. Now, it is important we actually use the Pro when you're using this. Now, GenCraft, okay, so this is what we're going to do now. We'll come over to this. We're going to be copying this. 
copy it to move over to the GenCraft to come here and we'll paste it. Now, if we should actually tap on the generate for it to generate this, it is not going to give us an African image. So we need to be specific when we are generating or when we are trying to generate or create um, an image. So here I'm going to put in an African, yes. So I'm going to be making sure that this African is there. So I can do well to use the GenCraft in generating my AI images. Just tap on generate and then it generates it. So we're just going to give it a little time. So this is it here. It actually generates this for us, for us to be able to use it. Now, where we now actually want to use this, you can then do well to save it. Now, if you want to save it, you right click on it. You see the save image out and then you'll be able to save this. All right, so now let's go and try the styler and let's see how we can use it. At times, I prefer to use this styler. Now, my reason of using this styler is because it actually generates four different images for us. So when you're using four different images on your um, AI video, it actually makes it balance with um, together with AI voiceover. It actually makes it balance well. So you can generate four different images of a particular scene. All right. So now we are going to see that with Styler. Now, when you're using GenCraft, it generates just two images, but Styler generates four different images. All right. So this is the size we'll be using 16 by 9. Scroll down and apply. So you guys can do well to simply tap on the link in the description. It will just bring you right straight here after signing in. Then text to image, come here, and then I'll insert this stylarize. When it actually generates it, then you'll be having this here. So now these are four different images for our AI. All right, so what we can do now is for us to select which should come first. All right, so from this, I actually want this to come first. Then this should be the second, third, and then the fourth. I want it to actually be like this. Then I'll just tap on place on canvas. Now, after tapping this, these are the look at them here. We're having four different layers. We can do well to go to the next one from our chat GPT to copy the next AI prompt. Now I'm going to be highlighting this. I'll copy this. Move over to styler. Now I'm going to make sure that I'm African is still there. Then I paste this one. All right. So it has actually generated the images here. So I can do well to select the images. So this is what I will be selecting first. I'll select this will be the first one. This will be the second. This will be the third. And then the fourth. Then I can place on canvas. Then look at it. I'm now having it different. So you can do the same thing for the rest of them. Now, let me try for this one more time. And then you can try it yourself. Jafari Happy Maliki pick up her falling fruit. The laughter feeling the as villagers around them watch it noise. Well, I'll copy it, I'll come over to here and then I paste it. So this is it here. It has actually generated these images. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be selecting it. So I want this to come first. Then this should be the next, followed by this and then this one. Four of them. And then I place on canvas. So from eight, it now becomes 12. So you can actually do the same thing for the rest of them. All right. So when you are done generating your images, what we're going to be doing next is for us to be able to export these images and then we can now move over to our voiceover. All right. For you to be able to export this, you come over to export. But now remember, like I said, it is advisable if you actually use the pro, which is concerning the styler. It's advisable if you use the pro. So as you can be able to also remove this watermark right here. Good. So we'll come over to export here. We'll be downloading this as a zip file. We'll tap on zip and download. So it's actually going to be downloading this. All right. So this has actually be downloaded. So we are going to get back to that. But for now, let's move over to our voiceover. All right. So we'll move over back to our chat GPT and then go back to the first one. Now, this is the first one, the narration. So we're going to copy this. After copying that, so it's now time for us to now generate the voiceover so what i'm actually using is 11 labs so you also need to be using the pro in 11 labs i'm going to paste it here now this is the first one i pasted this i'll go back go and copy the second one move back to our 11 labs and then i paste it there then i'm going to do the same thing for the third fourth and all of that all right so you can actually do well to do the same now these are all of my narration on 11 labs so I can now generate speech, tap on generate speech, and then it generates it, and then I can download it. So I have actually downloaded this text to speech. All right, so 
if you actually uh, um, want to make your video or your AI animated video longer, all you have to do is to come over to your chat GPT here. Then when you move down here, you can just type, please continue. And then it continue creating more and more stories, more animation, more AI prompt for you to be able to use. So if you if this is not actually enough, maybe you want it more longer or you want to make your video up to um, 15 minutes and thereabout, you can just do well to tap on please continue and then it continues just like that and it keeps going all right but for now this is where we are going to stop so i have actually now gotten my ai um, images and also my voiceover it's now time for us to be able to join it together and add some other sounds to it okay so we are now going to be opening our cap cuts cap cut is where we are going to be joining them but before that remember when we downloaded that file for AI images, we downloaded it as a zip file. So what we are going to do now is we are going to extract this file. Right click on this, for it to be able to extract, and then we extract all. So now this actually extracts the images into a folder for us to be able to insert it into our CapCut. So when you're actually done with this, you can now open your CapCut. So I'm going to open my CapCut, create a new project. All right, so we are going to be importing the images, imports. So what we are going to do is Control E for us to select everything and then we open. So after you have imported this here, this is all of them here and they are still selected. So what you're going to do is just click and drag it inside here. Okay, so we've actually inserted our images. This is it right here. Let's also insert our voiceover. So we'll come over to import here, then we'll move over to download because it was downloaded. Then we we'll insert this too. Okay, so I can now add it here to this so if you actually notice this now the images are way too long than that of the voiceover so what we are going to do now is we are going to be selecting all our images together selecting them together and then we are going to be reducing the time or how long it's going to be playing so just reduce it a little so i'm actually having this now so what we are going to be doing is now when you've inserted your voiceover the first thing you need to do is to actually increase the volume of your voiceover. Your voiceover should actually be high. So I'll just increase the volume. And then next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be giving a little space here. Now there should be a space at least. Two images should actually display before the voiceover starts. We need to add some sounds at the beginning. So what we're going to be adding is best chipping. There is actually going to be a fade out there. All right. So you can actually do well to search for any good background music to use on CapCut. There are so many amazing background music we can actually use for this. All right, so I would like you guys to go through this and work on it. Remember, when you're doing this, you need to make sure that it actually aligns. All right, so after you've actually gone through this and you find out that it's actually aligning both the AI images and the voiceover, then yeah, we can now do also add some end screen here. All right, so we are going to be using the text. So we we'll come out to our text up here. This is my text. Good. So we are going to be using text templates. This is going to allow us to be able to select. So I actually want to be using this so I can just click and drag it inside here to add it here. So when it actually plays down to this point, then this is actually going to be displaying. So we actually want to also do well to work on this if it's necessary. This is subscribe bell notification. All right, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be changing this bell notification to thanks for watching. All right, this is going to be thanks for watching. And then I, I can also do well to bring this down a little. Okay, so I'm actually going to be bringing this down. Now, the reason why I'm going to be bringing this down is so as when I'm actually uploading my video on YouTube and I want to add end screen, there's going to be a space for me to be able to add my end screen. So I'm going to be adding my end screen up here. Then maybe if possible, I can also do well to reduce this size the font size for this so this is it subscribe thanks for watching this is actually my head screen now this is just it and then before we go there's one last thing we need to do one last thing we need to do and what is that now we want to add some animation or transition between each of these images when it's actually moving or transiting to the next one it should actually not just flash in instead there should be some animation to it so I'm going to be highlighting all of this. Then I come over to my transition. This is where I have my transition. And then I'm going to be adding a transition there. So I can do well to add this, which is the mix. I'm just going to drag and drop it. All right. So when I've actually applied this mix, now it's actually going to be applying on just the first one. Then how can I actually apply it on all of them? I do well to come here. 
screw down to the last one. You see this apply to all. I tap on this and then it applies to all of it. So I've actually applied this to all of this. Alright, so I'm actually done with this. So I can Alright, so I'm actually done with my video and this is my video right here. So this is just how we can actually be able to generate our AI animated videos for YouTube. So if you actually decide that you want to be uploading your videos on YouTube, this is just a simple process on how you can actually do this. Alright guys, so I would like you guys to not forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification because I'm going to be uploading more AI animated animation trick. That we should know all right so do not forget hit that subscribe button continue to share this video and then i'll see you guys in our next class all right till then stay safe